to the world of arts. I am Miss Charlotte B. Bartolome, your math teacher. Today, we are going to learn and enjoy at the same time. Are you ready to listen? So let us start this lesson by answering this activity named Guess Me Right. As you can see, there are four pictures with descriptions. Your task is to determine the word that the image and statement is pertaining to. Choose the letter of your answer. In each item, you have five seconds to answer. So let's start with number one. The cosmic dancer represented by a four-armed figure. Your time starts now. The correct answer is letter A, Shiva. Next, let's proceed to number 2. Built in 1632 by Shah Jahan in memory of his wife. Timer starts now. If you have answered letter D, Taj Mahal, then you are correct. Next, we have number 3. The art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor of the house using fine ground white powder along with different colors. Timer starts now. The correct answer is letter B, Rangoli. Next, we have the last item. Clay lump being burned during New Year in India. Timer starts now. If you have answered letter C, Diwali Lam, then you got it right. I hope you enjoyed the first activity class. The activity you have done has something to do with our lesson for today. The different images presented are examples of arts in the different periods of Indian art. And our lesson for today is about the periods of Indian art. But before we're going to proceed with our discussion, let us come first the objectives of this lesson. First, traces the external and internal influences that are reflected in the design of an artwork and in making of a craft. Second, creates arts and crafts that can be locally assembled with local materials guided by local tradition techniques. Now, let's proceed with our discussion. Let us have a tour in India, specifically in the periods of Indian art. There are four periods of Indian art. The first period is the ancient period. Some evidences of the early civilization are bronze and copper, stages and seals, which show vigor and concern for surface textures as constantly characterized in Indian art. The Ajanta Cave of Maharashtra, India, our Turkey Rock Cut Cave monument that date back from the 2nd century BCE to the 600 CE, including paintings and sculptures considered to be masterpieces of Buddhist religious art. As 
well as frescoes that are reminiscent of the Siberia paintings in Sri Lanka. Next, we have the classical period. The image of Shiva, the destroyer, develops into Shiva, the cosmic dancer, represented by a four-armed figure. In this figure, one hand holds the fire with which he destroys. Another holds the drum, which is the first sound heard in the world during creation. Then the third arm points up in a reassuring gesture. And the fourth arm points down to the dwarf in which he dances to. Next, we have the transitional period. The transitional period is also known as Islamic Ascendancy. This was the period of evolution from Buddhism into Hinduism of Brahmanism. The two great Indian epics emerged in this period were Mahabharata and Ramayana. Now, let's have the last period, the Mughal period. Mughals contributed to the enrichment of Indian culture in painting and in architecture. The most splendid example is the Taj Mahal, built in 1632 by Shah Jahan in memory of his wife. Another art emerged during this period is the Diwali Law. Diwali is celebrated by Hindus in India and all around the world in October or November. It is the Hindu New Year and it's either a 3-day or 5-day holiday depending on where you come from. It is a very exciting and colorful holiday where homes are cleaned to welcome New Year and windows are opened so that the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, can enter. Hindus believe that she cannot enter the house which is not light up. So every household burns special Diwali clay lamps to light the way for the goddess. This is why the holiday is also known as the Festival of Lights. They also have this Rangoli. This is one of the most beautiful and most pleasing art forms in India. It comes from the words Ram, meaning color, and Ahavali, meaning colored creepers or row of colors. Rangoli is the art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor of the house using finely ground white powder along with different colors. Numerous households in the Indian subcontinent make use of a Rangoli design for decorating the courtyard of their houses. The traditional form of Rangoli made use of designs and motifs based on nature, such as mangoes, creepers, peacocks, and swans. Even the colors in the traditional art form were extracted from natural dyes like bark of trees, leaves, and indigo plant. These days, synthetic dyes have more or less replaced the natural dyes of the earlier times. So those are the following periods of Indian art. Let us have a recap on the different periods. First is the ancient period. Second, the classical period. Third, the transitional period, or also known as the Islamic ascendancy. And the last one, we have the Mughal period. Now, kindly get your module and answer the activity number two named as 5 W's and 1 H on page 11. Answer the following questions written on your module. After that, you're going to do the next activity, the Rangoli Art. You're going to make your own Rangoli. Choose any design or subject that you would like to portray in your artwork. Use your own creativity in making your project. Follow the steps on how to make Rangoli art on your module. Also read the criteria for this activity for you to be guided. Lastly, answer the assessment part on your module, which is on the last page 
of your modules. That ends the lesson for today. I hope you have learned a lot from our discussion. If you have questions regarding our lesson, you can always play this video or message me through my cell phone number. Thank you for listening. Again, I am Mom Shimabi Bartolome, your math teacher.